Hi, it's me again with Corel Drill Tips and Tricks. I just did a video about using the transformation or transform Docker that's under Windows and Dockers, and I used the mirror. But this is the scale in the mirror. You can actually change. So this red rectangle is 10 inches long. It's going to scale it 90% of its length, 90% of its height, and make 10 copies. Now it's 90%, it starts getting down into fractions. The first one is 90 or nine degree or nine inches. You can do that in any direction. You could have it go uphill, you know, like that. You could have this thing go up and make, you know, 50 copies of it. And it'll just keep going to that last one is just an outline because it's an outline. Uh, let me let me back up here. Let me take that outline away. Tell you what, let's take the color away. Just have an outline, and let's don't do fifty. Let's do thirty. I mean that last one is a little bitty block, and but it's it's you can use it. I mean it's less than a half inch long because it scaled it. This I you know if you were building a staircase or a pyramid or you know, other things, you could do a lot with this, like right there, you could make a step pyramid. You know, you can go in any direction. You don't You don't have to uh, do 90% equally. You could have it set this knot and make it 100% of its size and just have it scale it up in thickness. Or in, you know, it's gonna scale the length, but not change the thickness. This block is still 1.4, 1.48 same thickness so you could check that proportion right there and you can do anything you want i can see this very useful for some people i've only used it a couple of times but it's under transform or transformation depending on which one you have and then when you get that and you weld it i mean it'd be pretty hard to draw that by hand and get it dead on i hope that helped thank you for watching